After years of negotiation, Disney just bought the rights to Stan Lee, and here's how that's a big problem. And where this all stems from is Stan Lee had 37 cameos in Marvel TV shows and movies that started with Incredible Hulk in 1989. But the final cameo was released for Avengers Endgame 2019, just six months after he passed away. And after he passed away, the rights to Stan Lee's image and likeness were owned by a company called POW Entertainment. Now, after years of negotiation, POW finally arranged a deal with Disney so Marvel can use Stan Lee's image once again. Which would be completely fine if Stan Lee agreed to it, but the problem is he actually didn't. And that was because months before Stan Lee passed, away, he was soon POW CEO Gil Champion saying he forged his signature on that deal. Which wasn't the first time he had a lawsuit where he sued Marvel in 2001. That was because when Marvel was restructured in the late 90s, they promised Stan Lee a 10% royalty on movies and TV shows if he stayed with the company. But the problem was, once the Marvel movies were actually successful, they didn't honor it and never paid him that royalty. For this deal, it was even worse for Stan Lee said he never agreed to sell his likeness to POW. And now because of this deal, Marvel can do anything with his image and even make deepfakes from it. This is just another example of a group that made millions of dollars against Stan Lee's interest.